Hey guys, it's November 9th. Uh, I figured I'd do a just an update tour of the land here on the uh, morning after the first snowfall. So just see behind me, beautiful, nice little snowfall. It's about one degree Celsius this morning. So let's go show you guys a few spots in the woods that I never got to do the uh, the first tour. Let's go. So I'll just start with the driveway. So this is the driveway coming up to our house here. And we left a lot of these hemlocks and uh, small pines here because they were really nice healthy trees. So I, uh, I didn't cut any of them. You can see the house there in the background. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a bit. trees are full of the beautiful snow. Great, gorgeous day. Nice blue sky, few clouds. So the house is roof tight. Um, we've got uh, the windows are on, the front door is temporarily on. The only thing missing, I guess, is the garage door. And uh, so what we uh, plan to do is focus on finishing the exterior over the next few weeks. Uh, putting the vinyl siding on and all that. We can work on the inside anytime. And uh, hopefully bring the power in. This was uh, my first Hugo Culture bed here. Never got a good chance to show this one. This would be our first gardening bed. I plan to put uh, not necessarily root vegetables in here like carrots or things like that. It'll be more uh, herbs. Uh, this would be part of our permaculture garden so I'll probably put an apple tree or two in there. Some Maybe some blueberries. Things that I want to keep inside the fencing garden here which will be basically right from that white box you see there over to the road all around me here. So. So I'll keep this all fenced in. I often tease my wife that my garage has the best view in the house. So <laughs> here's the end of the house. There's the, the window in the garage. And here's the view that I see basically from the garage. So I see right out to the lake. We have a little sitting area set up here typically. Over here, look out, I guess. The lake, beautiful. A few trees there that I'll trim later. All right, so I'm going to take you guys up through this, this trail here on the ledge. see I guess through the reflections on the, the trees there I can see it here camera is not doing it justice it's all like all the way down to the right there all the way down across kind of on a little peninsula lake is all the way out to there my house is just over there and just walk through this little trail here. This is like a little moss knoll here. Beautiful little place to sit and have a picnic. It's the fall, but I mean in the summer. This is a lush green moss <laughs> boulder here. There's a nice little pond here. Spring or fall. First little frost on the water. A little trail meander down through the woods here. 
you can see how beautiful this landscape is here. It's gorgeous. And why we feel this is our dream property in our dream. Beautiful, gorgeous little area here. This is a little trail I love to walk. I made a few years ago. Goes down to the pond here. Feels like something out of a movie. spot here, beautiful little spot. Some water, it's kind of a, a bog or a swamp, I guess, or I'm not sure what the appropriate word is for this, but it's kind of a microclimate, really, when you think of it. Everything in there seems a little warmer than up on top, so. And here's a little trail, it follows, meanders down, follows this pond here, all around it. Oh, there's a tree here. It fell since. It's a candidate for my next Hugo culture bed. Let me see the pond here. Tree, trees in there. We had a big storm uh, a couple days ago here in this area, so still have to do some cleaning up in the area. A bit busy this summer with the tractor when I had it here. Let's see if I can get a good view of this pond here. So when it goes all the way over there from where it came, it just wraps around here. A little bit to the right, and then it goes out. And then meander down around that tree, and it goes out further than that, actually. So, we'll follow the pond. Let's see. Let's follow the water course. There's the pond. Apologize if some of you guys are like to see properties pristine and clean. I do too, but uh, haven't had a chance to get in there and clean that up. Just didn't have the time yet, but I will uh, next summer get in there and clean that up. It's a beautiful little on here. What we like to do, my wife and I, is turn this into a skating rink in the winter. So clean it all up. So it's quite a bit, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred feet of water. I 
and this is what I like to call my brook area. The brook kind of starts here and then I'll uh, I'd like I like to see this kind of stuff happening here. Water flow right from there. Put some stones in here so that uh, water is flowing over stones to get a little bit of that water sound. And then here it actually kind of goes underground. If you can see, there's no no water there. Then on this side, it kind of reappears. from this rock here. And it, then it here really starts to flow nicely. This is what I like to see. Water flowing. Hearing that sound. Through here, down in there, crap under this tree here. <clears throat> and there's another offshoot here that flows underground. I'm go by my one of my favorite trees here. I like to call my thinking tree. Right under here. That's a gorgeous tree. It's just a maple that got uprooted and the 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 roots are exposed under here. So it's some very nice nice looking. Those roots. You can see the two roots here coming out of the ground. So there'll be no tractor driving on this side of the property. And then I'm gonna try to get another shot of that little brook. There it is. Kind of coming through. Little trees here. So what I want to do is put some stones there and then have those turn into little small waterfalls rather than that's the sound I want to hear everywhere in here. Then at the base here, nice little pond. So, beautiful little area at the base of my property. I don't know, maybe 20 feet of elevation here between the base here and the top. All right, so now I'm on the other side of the property, taking you through a little tour of the houses right here. So this is just to the left of the house. And what's going on in this area? Let's take me over to our swing tree. Call this our swinging tree because I'm gonna put a swing on this big branch here. It's a really sizable branch. You see my hand on there, so it's a nice big tree, big hemlock. And then we got this big guy over here. 
So I measured this tree and it was uh, just about exactly 36 inches in diameter. And then this guy down here, this big pine you can see in the distance here. So this is almost four feet in diameter. This guy here is a nice big pine. So that guy, Take offshoot there. Majestic. That's another 48 inches tree. These are hemlocks in this area. Three hemlocks. See, big hemlock. Big tree. And this is one I showed in the previous video. It's got a little tree house there, you can see. Kids were climbing there. Actually, as we were building a house, uh, one of the workers from the contractor, he came, as soon as he got out of his car, he walked down the hill and he went right to the tree. And uh, he wanted to see if his tree house was still there. He's the guy who actually built those tree houses. There's not a big hemlock here. Nice big hemlock. This guy's another, I don't know, maybe 30 inch, 36 inch. And then, this is why I love these hemlocks. Let's take a look at this tree. Take a look at that. Just a big triangular tree. And you can see nothing else grows under this canopy. It's clear all around. And this, uh, never measured this one. But it's at least 36 inches in diameter. Have a look down here. Nice big pine here. Big pine. Nice healthy one. Nice stain. Stall. Straight. Another nice hemlock. Now I'm at the very front of my property. Overlooking the lake. I haven't spent a whole lot of time down here. I think we only walked this place once. So one of the previous guys who, who wanted to buy the land came in here and cut a bunch of trees in here. So just to clear up for the view. And uh, you can see he did some, <laughs> put a, quite a dent on it, that's for sure. But there's quite a nice lake view down here. It's the last windstorm took out a tree. That's not good. It's kind of thing that happens. Well, this is what a good example of coppicing actually. So there used to be a tree right in the middle here, and the guy cut it. When he cut that tree, here's what grew all around it. So this is be maybe. Another couple years, I'll let these grow and uh, they'll be ready for 
firewood, but out of one stump came, I don't know, maybe a dozen trees, a dozen branches. So that's how uh, I'm, I plan to uh, do my firewood using coppicing techniques. And uh, then you don't have to split the wood, right? So you end up with just nice sized wood all the time. Clean, it's not uh, splintered or anything. It's easy to grab that and stick it in the stove. So this is why I think I need to be very wary of these spruce trees here because uh, the wind just grabs them, tears them out like nothing. I'd rather have a bunch of uh, hardwood down here, to be honest with you. Then I don't have that issue. So, a lot of this will end up as ukuculture uh, feed. And then, uh, come down here and thin this out. Just keep this maintained. That's how I get my view. There's my house, right up there. This is technically off of my property here now. It belongs to the guy down below. Nice little clip here. Wahoo! Quite a little drop here. 20, 30 foot cliff. You can see through the trees here. Let's see the cliff. Nice view here though. So I am pretty far from the lake. Not far enough to not pay the taxes. Huh. So here's an observation. Look at all this brush and crap and trees down and dead trees and and uh, and look at the sun over here. So what I'm seeing is that, and I've been down here midday in the summer, this area gets an incredible amount of sun. So what I'm thinking I'm going to be doing here is turning all this into a, a garden area. Nice uh, uka culture. Uh, get all the materials here. You got lots of little trees around that I can thin out and uh, chip and turn this into this ugly area into something really beautiful. Uh, just need to bring the tractor here and bring the stuff to the tractor, I guess. Just so much of this could be chipped, like all this brush can all be chipped. So. And then out through here you can see there's some, some new life. Uh, so a lot of this new life can be thinned out. And uh, rather than having Say, for example, a bunch of these here, I can just thin it out, keep a few. Same thing here, keep a few of these, keep a few of these, right? The rest, turn it into some chips. So, a lot of, a lot of brush here, that'll be chipped. So, I could really clean this area up, make something really nice in there. But, uh, this is really a microclimate, this area. Um, doesn't seem like it to you guys, but from where I'm at, it's the amount of sun here, exposure. So it's November 3.30, and the sun is just shining here. And in the summer, as the sun shines through these big trees here as it's coming up. So this area here is, uh, is very dry, it tends to be very dry, uh, very sunny. So there's the house up there. So I just wanted to take you guys in here so you can see the snow. But look at this beautiful cliff here at the moss with the trees. It's gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. We fell in love with this land at first sight, I mean, we just came down here, looked to walk, walked around a little bit. When we seen this stuff, we were like, okay. There isn't a whole a lot of commercial properties available that have this kind of different uh, 
areas, you know. And what's what's really special about this property is that we have many different types of areas. You know, so we have this rocky cliffy area here and then we've got that pond area and then we get the nice plateau flat area at the top. <coughs> it's a very unique very special property to us. So hope you've enjoyed this tour. Just gonna try to get to this little ledge here without breaking my neck. There we go. What a spot here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the little walk about here. Uh, this beautiful fall day. This is just a view from where I was then. I mentioned I wanted to do the Uber culture bits. Beautiful view. Big lake. <laughs>